I used to have very um, mixed feelings about that until I watched Land of the Lushness. Um, and actually until I, I, I read a, an interview with folks who made that end. Um, so, am I? Okay. That was the point of the panel where I'm going to have to do a thing. Um, in order to show this, And we are going to connect to that. Um, if we're not writing that work. Uh, let's see here. Um, please do not all leech off of my uh, internet connection. set with um, girls made of various precious gems. They are literally these gems. Um, and the, um, it is an all CGI anime series that feels like anime. The style, the approach, um, as an example, there's a moment where one of these girls is, um, you're flying through the air at somebody and the camera zooms in on the fist zooms in on the eye, zooms in on the legs as she's flying by, the same way that anime does when you're animating it. Not the way CGI would smooth smoothly through the entire thing. The guy who runs the studio um, has been doing CG and anime for a long time. He did the Kachikoma and Ghost in the Shell. Um, so he, he knows what he's doing, right? A lot of experience. And he said, I founded this studio because we all know CGI is a thing and CGI is increasingly a part of anime, and we need to figure out how to take the lessons anime has learned over the past 50 years about animation and marry them to um, the differences in production of CGI. In other words, he has tremendous respect for anime as an artistic medium and what it gets across, and he wants to um, not just copy anime and CG, but figure out what's the correct marriage there, right? How do we do that stuff? Um, Lady of the Lustrous is a perfect melding of these two things. Um, it is also very, very unusual, right? It is a thing. Um, what they're working on right now, if you're interested in a more, um, kind of to see what's happening right now. So they are really pushing the envelope of what you can and can't do. What I love about this is that you know, it's, it's basically Zootopia as horror story. Um, a, a carnivore at a, a, like a college has started hunting the herbivores, but no one knows who it is. Um, so it's very scary. Um, and it, it's basically the psychological horror story. And it's fascinating because like, um, uh, like um, one of the characters is an elk, and he's very proud and regal, right? Um, and then there's a rabbit that is kind of depressed because everyone finds her cute. Um, and she's, and, and so they deal with this like, from a psychological perspective where she is very attractive to everybody. And so she walks down the street and she turns heads. And she can never have like a normal relationship with everybody because she is kind of this, not just a prey species, but also just attractive to everybody and what that's like as a person. Um, and then just the animation, is, it's, it's definitely CGI, but it feels like anime. Um, honestly, I find it unlikely that we are moving to an all CGI future anytime soon. Um, partly because the skills, um, it's a very different skill set. And, okay, this is going to sound really depressing. Um, a lot of people are going to have to die off before that happens. Because there are so many people in anime who only know 2D animation, you can't just retrain them to do CGI. And so there's going to keep on doing that, right? That, that is what that studio knows how to do. Um, I think, well, the other side of the coin, too, here is if we, if we need to be scared about this, we probably should have been scared 20 years ago 
when the rest of the world moved to CGI, and Japan just stuck. Um, and because Japan has so much skill, it has a whole industry built around this, it's just, you know, um, it's very hard for that to change, reasonably speaking. Um, I do think we're going to get to a point where CG, CG anime is um, on par with anime. We'll have, we'll have, you know, half of the shows being made are CG and half of made 2D, for example. Um, and that's just going to be different artistic styles, different production processes, that kind of stuff. Um, there are still things that 2D can do that CG cannot, in the sense of just like speed, where like you can draw a character faster than you can model one in CGI. Um, so some things like, especially experimental films, it's going to make sense to do 2D, that kind of thing. So I think we're going to see folks realizing these are different approaches to animation. It's not we have, we must do one or the other. I hope. So, and I grew up with the best 2D animation, so I, I want that.